All right, so let me just show off this dumb terminal setup a little bit. Uh, so first you got to have your comms port set. So right now I'm set to uh, 19,200 kilobaud, 19,200 baud, or 19.2 kilobaud. Oops, shit. Uh, the receive is set to the same baud rate as the transmit. XOR is turned off. Um, 8 bits, no parity. One stop bit. I have local echo turned off. And I'm not using, just using it for data. Now, let me show you on this machine here. So here's the magic line that makes everything work so well on this. And it's that uh, the grub command line default option. So where you can put, put arguments to send to the kernel. I've declared console on my TTY S0, which is the first serial port in the machine. Uh, it's set to the same baud rate and serial settings. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. And uh, this setting makes everything just basically work. Uh, you don't have to do anything else, just put this in and boot up. This machine, uh, the, you can literally just plug anything you want in and it's the same as using uh, your TTY on one of your other computers uh, like you usually do. Uh, this is basically for all intents and purposes uh, replaced SSH for me. I might even get rid of the service because I really don't need it anymore. Uh, you can see here everything works. Uh, I, do, I am running it through probably 200 and some odd feet of cable, and I do get some funny characters sometime. That's, uh, but flow control's turned off, but it's kind of acting like I have it turned on somewhere. But it, uh, this machine is also from 1987, so it's older than I am. Regular top works too. It's pretty straightforward to get this going. Uh, this is basically with the way people used uh, Unix machines before. They had uh, frame buffers and graphics cards and keyboards. Originally these printed on paper, I might edit a picture of one of those in for the deck right. That was the popular one, I think. But uh, yeah, I'll put up a diagram of uh, the adapter I built. and. Uh, yeah, you guys should try this out. If any of you get a hold of this thing, this is the best dumb terminal I've ever used. Played with an IBM one a bit. Eh. It wasn't like this one. One weird thing about the keyboard is uh, the caps lock and control key location. That takes some getting used to. That's the biggest difference. It also has a proper return key. Uh, I hope this video was useful, and uh, I'll show off some the adapter in a moment here. Alright, so I start on this end. On the left side for pin 1, it's white green, green, white orange, orange, white blue, blue. That's for all six of the pins. And then on this side, I've gone and I've hooked pin 1 to nothing. And I've hooked pin 2 to white green, pin 3 to solid green, pin 4, I think that's pin 4, let me check. No, that is pin 6. Pin 6 is hooked to white blue. Pin 7 is solid blue, and pin number 5 is the brown pair, which I didn't even realize I was using. Oh, I see what I did here. So the brown pair is tied in to both the orange wires, the solid orange and the orange stripe, as that is a ground. And then I connected them together into there. Now, from here, I can just plug in a regular off-the-shelf Cisco console cable to turn it into DB9. I will grab one of those in a second and show how this works. Basically, this lets me have this anywhere I have an Ethernet cable. And despite being the same voltage level for its signaling, it seems it can go further than Ethernet. So if we connect your standard off-the-shelf Cisco, Make sure you get a genuine Cisco, folks, and then you don't have to worry about it kind of falling apart on you. Cisco console cable, and just simply plug it in. Uh, most network equipment and industrial control equipment uses the standard uh, for the same pinout.
it's pretty much universal to be universal to expect this these days. And uh, yeah, you just hook this up, plug this in the back. These are a little hard to get the modular modified modular jacks. They uh, offset the pins so that no one would be dumb enough to plug a telephone jack in. Uh, unfortunately, these haven't been made since the early 90s, um, so you have to buy them in bulk when you can find them. I had about a hundred of them at one point, but now I seem to have just one or two spares. I've lost most of them.